siblings world today we are gonna do four amazing experiments with my friend Albie hi so let's get on to the video so for this first experiment we're gonna need a lemon about the size that I'm using we're going to cut both sides, so one side is going to be a smaller cut, the other one will be a bigger cut. This is so that the smaller side uh, will be our base and the um, bigger cut will be our opening, so where the volcano is going to form. Now we're going to get a fork, so we're going to use this to poke our lemon. I'm using three different lemons for doing this experiment in three different ways. So you're going to get the fork and you're going to fork or knife. And you're going to poke the lemon carefully. Try not to let too much of the juice go out. So make sure that it's pretty juicy in the inside so that um, the experiment will have a better outcome. So keep poking it until um, most of the chunks in the lemon are um, watery. So after you're done poking it and it's very nice and uh, juicy, what you're going to do is you're going to get your baking soda. So one spoon and you're going to add it into the lemon carefully try not to let too much go out mine did go out a bit but that's okay if it's like a little bit then that's okay so you're gonna poke it in and then you'll try to see your uh, volcano form So for the second lemon, we're going to do pretty much the exact same process, except this time we're going to use um, food coloring to make our volcano colorful. So you're going to get the knife, you're going to poke it in, make sure that the lemon is nice and watery. Once you're done doing that, you're going to get your food coloring, add a few drops, and you're going to get your fork or knife and you're going to mix that in nice and well. Then after you've done that, you're going to get your baking soda, add one spoon, just like the first one, and then you're going to get um, your knife and you're going to poke it in. So now you have a colorful volcano. So for the last lemon, we're gonna pretty much do, like I said, the exact same thing, except this time we're gonna add one more ingredient. So you're gonna get your knife, you're gonna poke the lemon, then you're gonna add some dish soap, so it's a little bit, and then you're gonna mix that up. Once you've done that, you're going to get any color food coloring of your choice. You're going to mix that in again. And then after that, you're going to get some baking soda, one spoon. Add that in. Mix it nice and well. Poke it in so that anything on, at the very bottom will come to the top. And just mix it well. And then you'll have a more foamy volcano. Okay, so to begin with, we are going to take our first cup and we're going to add in water. So we're going to fill it to the top. Right about there. And then we're going to take our egg and we're going to drop it in. And as we all know, the egg will sink to the bottom. For the next cup, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to add in one cup of plain water. And then to that, we are going to be adding in about two to three spoons of salt. So one, two, three. And then we're going to mix it. Okay, so the salt water, we're going to add in one egg. So for this one, the egg is going to come to the top and it'll float. So for this one, the egg um, sank to the bottom. This one, the egg is floating. So for the last cup, we're gonna add in half a cup of plain water. So about there. And then we're gonna add in one and a half spoons of salt. One. Two. And I'm gonna get this because Okay, so that's about two tablespoons. Now we're gonna mix it up. So 
So now I'm gonna add in the last egg carefully. So the egg is floating at the top. Now I'm gonna get my plain water and just carefully add it in. Okay. So as you can see, the egg is not floating right to the top, but it's not sunk either. It's right in the middle. So the basic theory behind this experiment was that the egg will sink in plain water because the egg has a greater density than the water. For the second cup, the egg will float in salt water because when salt is added to water, its density becomes greater than that of the egg. So that makes the egg float. For the last one, the water density is equal to the egg's density so it will remain in the middle.